Well, this is a major shift in policy from the EU executive, and of course it follows the major shift in policy from the U.S. executive yesterday. Up until now, the U.S., EU, and U.K., where the major patents are registered, had agreed with the pharma companies that it would be dangerous to open the patents because, as the pharmaceutical companies say, manufacturing them requires an immense amount of specific knowledge and that you could unleash chaos uh, if you opened up the patent that could actually harm the distribution efforts. Uh, but as the images from India have been seen over the last weeks, that position became increasingly untenable. President Biden was under immense pressure from Democratic lawmakers to make this change, as was President von der Leyen here in the EU. Uh, so what they'll do here is now they're adjusting their position at the World Trade Organization. India and South Africa had introduced a resolution uh, to open up these patents, and that was opposed by the U.S., EU, and U.K. It's still unclear what the U.K.'s position is going to be on this. I haven't, unless I've missed it, they haven't changed their position this morning, but I imagine they will be under immense pressure to do so. There are two important caveats here, though. Changing this at the WTO is going to require unanimous consent of all of its members, and that's going to take months to negotiate. And it also means that any kind of agreement here is probably going to have to be narrow, because whatever the U.K. position is there's also other countries involved here. Russia and China obviously have their own vaccines. And it may be that this ends up being just a very symbolic gesture. Uh, and of course, it can't do anything to solve India's problems in the short term. This could make a big difference next year with vaccines for new variants. But of course, it's unclear whether this patent opening agreement would cover any kind of adjustment to the vaccines next year to deal with variants. The other important caveat here is while Joe Biden can unilaterally take this decision to change the U.S. stance at the WT, Ursula von der Leyen's position is more complicated. The European Commission does speak for all of the EU on trade issues at the WTO, but first the Commission needs a negotiating mandate from the 27 member countries, and EU countries have been very split on this issue. They'll have a first opportunity to talk about this at an informal summit in Porto, Portugal tomorrow. Also, there will be a WTO meeting tomorrow. It's unclear whether there might be movement on this issue at that WTO meeting, but this is going to get very, very very complex, I think, because the pharma companies are going to fight this with all their might. We've already seen the share prices of some pharma companies drop in reaction to this news. Uh, so this is going to be a big fight at the WTO. It's not going to be resolved anytime soon. It really won't make a difference in the short term. The key thing is whether it could make a difference later this year and next year. Let's see what happens, Dave. Thank you very much for that, Dave Keating, reporting there from Brussels.